This channel was created four months ago and has gained over 500,000 subscribers. This channel was also created in the same month and has already got 37 million views with over 300,000 subscribers. Both are creating the same style of videos known as Would You Rather and getting up to 8 million views per video. They are monetized and Social Blade estimated that they are making up to $65,000 per month. Take that number with caution though as these are short channels which means their earnings will be much on the lower end, probably around two thousand dollars but that's still a lot considering the low amount of effort put into making these videos however they are doing two things wrong which may get them demonetized in the future so if you're looking to start a similar channel you want to keep watching to find out this series also works on long videos as expected. In fact, I found a channel here with just 2,000 subs that gained over half a million views on one of their videos. You see, this topic appeals to a very large audience and it goes viral easily on a lot of quiz channels. This is because it's a classic game that forces people to think critically and choose between two appealing or unappealing options. That's why you'll find people leaving their answers in the comment section most of which are usually long and detailed. And when YouTube sees this kind of engagement on a video, they will love to push it to more people. So as a lovely friend who's always got your back, I'm not holding anything back from you today. I'll show you step by step how to create these short and long videos fast with Canva and ChatGPT. I'll show you how to add a cool intro and outro, a realistic and captivating voiceover, and I'll drop some tips and hacks along the way to make your work faster. And if you truly want to go viral, I'll show you how to find the right topics to target using one of my secret tools. So let's get started. Starting with the YouTube shorts, go to ChatGPT and give it this prompt. I asked it to give me 10 series of questions with two unappealing choices in a tabular form. Then I gave it a guide to follow and asked it to add a random percentage of how people are likely to respond to the questions. If this prompt seems confusing, just keep watching and it will make sense in a bit. Next, open Canva and go to the video section to choose mobile video. We are creating the template first, so I will zoom in on the timeline for you to see my steps clearly. The first thing you should do is to increase this page from 5 seconds to 7 seconds, which will be the length of the scenes. Next, I'll add a rectangle by pressing the letter R on my keyboard and enlarge it till it fills half of the canvas. Duplicate the rectangle by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard and place it below. Then at the top, choose two contrasting colors for the rectangles like orange and teal. Next, place a divider in the middle by adding another rectangle and changing the color to black. Expand it to fill the page like this and add a circle with the letter C on your keyboard. Change the color to black as well and decrease its size. Add a bold text from the text tab like this and go back to ChatGPT to copy one of the options and paste it in the box. I will change the font to one of my favorites and increase the size to 56. Enlarge the text and make sure it is aligned to the center on this alignment button so that all the texts are placed correctly. Then go to Effects to add a black outline to it and increase the thickness like this. Duplicate the text, place it below, and go back to ChatGPT to copy the second option and paste it there as well. Duplicate the text one more time and type in OR in all caps and place it in the center of the circle. I'll increase the font size a bit and align the objects like this. Next, go to the Elements tab and search for Tablet. Switch to the Frame section and drag an horizontal tablet to the canvas. Enlarge it like this, place it in the middle, and duplicate it for the second option which should be placed below. Then for the percentage, we'll need to duplicate one of the texts and add a percentage from ChatGPT. Reduce the border like this, place it on the question line, and increase the font to make it look bigger. Duplicate it and place it below to add the second percentage in it. Then you want to go back to ChatGPT and note the column with the highest percentage. For my demo here, you can see that the option A mostly has the biggest number, so I'll add a green color to the first option and make the second option red. This will be changed later for scenes that don't fall in place, but doing this will make your work faster. Next, I'll go to Projects and add one of the timers we've used before on this channel. Don't worry if you don't have it, I'll show you how to get timers when creating the long videos. I just prefer this one for the shorts. If you notice, adding the timer increases the page length, so I'll reduce it back to 7 seconds. Then place the timer in the middle and let it cover the center circle. Next, hold the Shift key and click on the second question plus the frame. Right-click on your mouse and select Show Timing. Since both questions are not going to display at the same time, you want to drag the playhead to about 1.5 seconds and trim the start handle to meet the line. Then click on the timer, drag the playhead to 2.5 seconds and move the timer to start there. Then drag the playhead once again to 5.5 seconds and trim the end of the timer to meet it, which will make the timer duration last for 3 seconds like this. 
Then, at the same position where the timer ends, you want to click on the second question and trim the end handle there. Click on the first question and trim the end handle there as well, as this will make both of them disappear along with the timer. Then when they disappear is the exact time the percentages should appear, so hold shift and click on the two percentages to trim their start handles there, which is 1.5 seconds to the end. For animation, select all the elements and click on Animate at the top to apply a pop animation and leave it on both. To add the sounds, go to the Elements section and search for Golf Swing under the Audio tab. Then drag the playhead to the start and scroll down to select Golf Swing 19. Again, drag the playhead to 1.5 second, where the second option appears, and click on the Golf Swing audio to add the sound there as well. Then drag the playhead to 2.5 seconds where the timer appears, and search for a clock ticking sound to select clock ticking 2. Then drag the playhead to the end of the timer, which is 5.5 seconds, and trim the end of the clock sound there. Then search for bell store ding and choose clerk 1. Since the audio cannot be created in bulk, a hack you can use is this. Highlight all the elements and delete them. Then download the page as a video to your PC and press Ctrl plus Z to undo the deletion. You can now upload the downloaded video and delete the sounds one after the other. Then click on the uploaded video and set it as the background. This way, the audio will always be available when reusing the template. Next, you want to go to ChatGPT and look at the options. The first one talks about living without the internet, so go back to the elements section and search for no internet under the photos tab. Right click on the one you like and select add to folder. Create a new folder and to make your work easier, you should create different folders for the options. So I'll call this short A. Then you want to look at number two which talks about sweet food and search for sweet food to select one in the photo library. The folder you just created will appear, so add the picture to it and repeat the same for the other eight. Number one of option B talks about living without electricity, so you want to search for no electricity and add it to a new folder which I will call short B. Repeat the same for the other ones and add them to the new folder you created. The next step is bulk create. So go to the app section to select or search for it and choose enter data manually. Clear the table first and go back to chat GPT to copy the table content from top to bottom and paste it in the first block. Click on add image twice at the top to add columns for the two options. Then click on the first block to find the first folder and select the corresponding image which is the man with no internet. Repeat the same for the other rows till you fill them and click on the second block. You will have to go back to the menu to select the second folder and you simply need to fill the rows with the corresponding photos. When you are through with that, click on done to move on. Now right click on the first question, click on connect data and choose option A. Repeat the same for the second question and choose option B. Do the same for the percentages and choose the options A and B percent. Right click on the frame as well and select the first image which is for the first options. Repeat the same for the other one. Select the second image and click on Continue. Since this template is 7 seconds long, generating the 10 scenes will make it 70 seconds which is above YouTube Shorts requirements. So I'll unselect two questions to generate 8 scenes which will make it 56 seconds. Next you want to look at the scenes and edit the color of the percentages that are not correct. You simply need to make the higher numbers green and the smaller ones red. Setting this as I showed earlier means we only have three scenes that don't fall in place compared to doing the same for every scene. The next step is to add the voiceover, but before that I'll ask ChatGPT to combine the phrases for me with this prompt. This will turn the questions into sentences and make it easier to add a voiceover on top. The tool we're using for the voiceover today is called Eleven Labs. It's free to use and I'll leave the link below for you to register. Choose a voice from your dashboard and the most popular voice on this tool is called Adam, which is the one I'll use for this tutorial as well. Then you want to select the English version one from the third menu. Don't worry about the recommendation they gave, as this is the version that sounds best in my opinion. You can go back to ChatGPT and copy all of the sentences like this and create the audio once, but that means you'll have to split it on Canva, which will be a lot of hassle. So instead of that, a hack you can use is to copy the eight sentences you need one after the other onto a clipboard like this. Then paste the first one in the canvas and click on Generate. Live without internet or live without electricity. Highlight the sentence with Control A, paste the second one and click on Generate again. Never taste sweet food or never taste savory food. So you simply need to repeat it for the other ones and when you're done you should go to the History tab and you'll find the generated audios there. 
You can then check the top box to select all of the voiceovers at once and click on Download to save it to your PC. It will be downloaded in a zip file, so you need to extract it and go back to Canva. If I open the folder, you can see that the audios are named with date and time, which is too long to find easily on Canva. So another quick hack you can use is this. Select all of the audio with Ctrl A and press F2 on your keyboard to rename them. I'll type a name here like short and press enter. This will rename all the voices at once and add numbers to them so you can easily upload them to Canva. Go to the first scene and click on the first audio which is short one. Drag the play head to the second scene and click on short two. I hope you see the reason for renaming the files as you just need to repeat the same for the other scenes and select their corresponding voices. So I'll download this and play the short for you but don't go yet as we are going to create the longer version which is where the real money is. Live without internet or live without electricity. Never taste sweet food or never taste savory food. Only see in black and white or only hear in monotone. Eat only raw food or cooked food from a can. Sleep only three hours a night or sleep 15 hours a day. Be allergic to sunlight or be allergic to water. Never use a phone again or only communicate via emojis. Always be 20 minutes late or always be two hours early. Those two channels only created short videos, which is proven to grow a channel fast. But if you want to make more money, you must create longer videos, and I would advise you to turn them into series. But how exactly do you find viral video ideas based on data? Well, you want to search for Would You Rather on YouTube with the vidIQ extension installed. Filter the results to show videos only. And I want you to take note of two data here, which are the views per hour and the outlier score. The VPH shows you the trending videos on a channel while the outliers show their top performing videos. This is why this video is said to reach a whopping 1,500x since it outperforms the channel's average. You may scroll down and look at the results, but what I like to do to make my research more robust is to open some of the channels that show up on a new tab. They've done the work so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. To see the viral topic in this series, search for Would You Rather on these channels. First of all, you should ignore the latest videos since they are just released and will likely have a high score. Then you want to note the videos that are older than two weeks and have both a VPH and an outlier score. The number to look for will depend on the niche popularity. So for quiz channels like this, I'll say you should look for videos with at least 50 views per hour and a red outlier score, which is usually 9x and above. On this channel, for instance, we can see a luxury edition and a futuristic luxury edition, both of which are similar with slight variations. This shows that the first video performed for the channel and the owner just repeated it in another style, which is a proven method to grow on YouTube. Scrolling down, there's a luxury car edition and a drink edition, both of which have high scores as well. On the next channel, you can see that the same futuristic luxury edition is trending, which answers one of the questions I get most about competition and niche saturation. You'll notice that this is a much smaller channel compared to the first one, but YouTube still finds viewers for him since people that are interested in the topic still exist. Scrolling down, there's the sweets edition and the mystery dish edition, which has a green outlier score, but I'm willing to bend my rules for these types of videos because it's a month old and getting over 200 views per hour. On the next channel, I found the snacks and the animal edition, which are the two editions I would target as a beginner. As you can see that they are both seven months old with one in three million views. They also have big outlier numbers and are still getting up to 112 views per hour. For those of you who already have a channel like this or are looking to start one, you can click on the vidIQ icon and go to trending videos. This is where you will see all the quiz videos that are trending on the channel, which means if you create videos targeting similar topics, you have a high chance of getting recommended to a similar audience, even if you're a new channel. You can see a lot of Would You Rather topics and other series we've discussed on this channel that you can create videos on. In fact, this was how I saw the idea for the first video on this channel, and I was able to get a slice of the trend back then. You'll have limited access to these features if you are on the free plan, but I've partnered with vidIQ for this video, and you can get the boost plan which would normally cost $24 for just $1.
This is a tool I use and always recommend, and you can get all the data you need to become successful in 30 days. So click on the first link in the description below to try it out. To create an episode on the Animal Edition, which is one of the popular episodes, you want to go to ChatGPT and give it this prompt. It's similar to the previous one, but since this is for long videos, I asked for 25 questions without adding percentages. The reason is that if you check the videos we just researched, you'll see that they don't add a percentage, which means we can also do away with it. Back on Canva, you don't need to start from scratch again, as you can simply turn the short template to long. To do this, click on Magic Switch at the top and go to Videos to select the first option, which is 1920 by 1080. Then click on Copy and Resize. First of all, I'll click on Position and delete the background video. Remember that was the video with the sound effects, and since the scenes of this one are longer, we don't need it anymore. Then I'll place the orange box on the left and enlarge it to fill half of the canvas. Repeat the same for the teal box on the right and drag the frame on top of each other like this. Select both to enlarge them and place one on the right box. Click on the two percentages and delete them since we don't need them here. Then, I'll delete this timer to show you how to get another one. Drag option A on the left and option B on the right under the frames. Then select both and increase their fonts to 48. Rotate the divider and enlarge it to fill the center. Next, add a rectangle, place it on top and change the color to black. Enlarge it horizontally like this and add a text with the letter T to write the heading you want. Change the color to white, increase the font and make everything aligned to the center. I'll add a rounded corner to the rectangle just to make it look better. Then we need to increase this template to about 12 seconds since this is a longer video. Next, click on the middle objects and enlarge them. Duplicate both and place them at the top left. This is for the numbers, so I'll add a figure to it. To add some contrast, you can swap the middle object's colors by making the circle white and the text black, and add a color to the figure as well. Go back to ChatGPT and copy one of the long questions on the left to paste it in the first option. Repeat the same for the right and paste it in the second option. This is where you need to set the placement right as whatever you set here will reflect on the results. To add a timer, go to the Elements tab and search for Timer under the Videos section. Scroll till you find the one you like and click on Edit Video to remove the background. I'll scale it down to the center and click on all of the elements except the timer to show their timings. You can click on this arrow to see what you've selected and you will see that they are of different timings. So you want to drag their end handle to the left and back to the right which will make them fall on the same place. Next, drag your playhead to 0.5 second and trim the start to meet the line. Drag the playhead to 11.5 seconds and trim the end there as well. This will give room for the transitions when we are editing the final video as you'll see later. Click on the timer. If you check the library, you'll see that it is 11 seconds long so you want to trim it to that length. Then I want it to start somewhere around the middle so I'll click on playback and increase the speed. You want to play it and note where it stops reading, which is around 8.5 seconds. So I'll trim the end handle to meet it. Then go to 11.5 seconds where every object disappears and move the timer there. This will make it start and end in about two-thirds of the scenes. Next, go to Animate and choose a pop animation for the timer. Other objects already have an animation, but we can add motion effects to the frames by choosing Pulse and reducing the intensity to the lowest. For the sound effects, go to the Elements tab and search for Popcork under Audio. Drag your playhead to 0.5 second where the elements appear and choose Pop 1. Click on the timer and drag the playhead to the middle at around 7 seconds and search for Egg Timer to choose the first result. Reduce the sound to 4 seconds and search for Bell Ding to choose Clerk 1. We'll repeat the hack we used on the short video, which is to delete the elements, download the video, and undo the deletion. Delete all the sound effects one after the other, upload the video clip, click on it and set it as the background. Just like we did before, the first question is about petting a baby tiger. So I'll search for a baby tiger photo and add it to a new folder. I will repeat the same for dolphins and all the options on the left option till I get to number 25. Then for the right options, I'll search for baby panda, add it to a new separate folder and repeat the same for the other 25 questions. When you are done with that, go to the bulk create and enter your data manually. Clear the table, copy all the data on ChatGPT, and paste it there. Add two columns for images, and start adding the relevant photos from the folders. It should be easier since you separated the folders to match the block, and simply click on Done when you're through. You already know how this works. Connect the frames and the texts to their corresponding data fields. The only addition here is the figure which you need to connect with the number data. Click on Continue when you're done, 
and since this is a long video, we'll need all the 25 question series, so I'll generate them to become the scenes of our video. To add an intro, right-click on the first scene and click on Add Page. Drag it to the start of the video and search for Spiral Background under Videos. Choose the color you like and drag it on the canvas, then search for Quiz under Graphics. I'll click on one of them to build our logo, add a text to the side and call the channel name Quiz Arena. I'll use a playful font which looks cooler and add a glitch effect to it. Then I'll click on both objects and add a tumble animation to them leaving it on Enter only. I'll also add a motion effect to them with a low intensity, then right-click on the page and duplicate it. I'll search for a group of animal pictures, delete the quiz logo, and click on one of the results. Enlarge it like this and add a phrase that says, Would you rather at the top and change the effect to background? I'll reduce the spread, change the color to black, and change the text color to yellow. Align it in the middle and duplicate it to write Animal Edition. To encourage the viewers to subscribe, I'll search for a subscribe graphic with animation and scale it down to the middle. Click on Animate and add a pop animation to the graphic. Hold Shift and click on the two texts, clear their animations, and apply a burst animation to them. Click on the animal photo and add the pulse motion effect to it with a low intensity. All these will make the intro more interesting, and we can scroll to the end and add a page for the outro. Search for an end screen under Videos to choose the one you like. The next thing is the transition which you can add by hovering your mouse between two scenes and selecting the one you like. I'll choose a color wipe transition and make it 0.5 second. Click on the button below to apply the same transition between all the scenes. Since the first one is the intro, I'd like to apply another transition to it like the circle wipe, and I'll select the outside style. Go back to ChatGPT and give it another prompt like this in order to combine the options into sentences for the voiceover. I also asked it to add a funny sentence after the questions with the examples of what I wanted. Similar to what we did to the short, I'll copy the sentences one after the other to my clipboard like this. Then go to Eleven Labs and start generating the scenes one by one. You can always regenerate the one that doesn't sound the way you like, and when you're done, go to the History tab and download them. Only 10 sounds will show on a page, so you need to click on Next twice to see the other ones. I'll check the first five here and download them in a folder. Click to go to the previous page, check all the voices and download them in another folder. Repeat the same for the third and extract all of the audio from their zip folders. I've labeled them from long one to three, so what I can do is to simply cut the audio files from two folders and paste them in the first folder. If you do this correctly, you'll have the 25 voices in one place, so you can simply highlight them all and press F2 on your keyboard to rename them. Then go back to Canva and upload all the audio files there. As that is being uploaded, we can go back to 11 labs and type in an intro. I came up with this intro myself so you can replace it with your channel name. I'll type in another sentence for the outro and download both of them from the History tab. Drag them to Canva and we can start adding the voiceovers. Drag your playhead to the start and click on the intro. Hello friends, welcome to Quiz Arena. Then you want to split it after the channel name is mentioned by pressing the letter S on your keyboard and trimming the end of the intro scene there. Move the second part under the next page and trim it to the end as well. Today we are going to play Would You Rather Quiz Animal Edition. Make sure you subscribe for more. Since it says make sure you subscribe, we can right click on the subscribe button to show the timing. Then trim the start to that location and trim the end to the end of the page as well. Go to the end screen and add the outro voice under it. Then to add the other voices, you should drag the playhead to the start of the scenes and play the video with your spacebar. After you hear the cork sound, pause the video and select the corresponding voice, which is long 25 for this scene. Then go to the next scene, play the video, pause it after the cork sound and add the long 24 voice. So I hope you get the gist, you simply need to repeat it for the other scenes and you are done. So I'll download the video and play some part for you, but don't go yet, as I'll show you what those short channels are doing wrong and the right way I recommend to grow a channel like this. Hello friends, welcome to Quiz Arena. Today we are going to play Would You Rather Quiz Animal Edition. Make sure you subscribe for more awesome quizzes like this. Let's go. Would you rather pet a baby tiger or cuddle a baby panda? Both are cute, but I prefer panda. What about you? Would you rather swim with dolphins or fly with eagles? Flying with eagles sounds thrilling. What would you choose? Would you rather have a pet owl or have a pet fox? Owls seem mysterious, but foxes are so playful.
Which would you prefer as a pet? Would you rather ride a horse or ride an elephant? Both majestic, but riding an elephant seems so unique. What's your pick? Would you rather live with wolves or live with lions? Wolves have a fascinating pack dynamic, don't they? What's your take? Would you rather have a pet rabbit or have a pet guinea pig? Both adorable, but I think guinea pigs are extra cuddly. What's your preference? Would you rather have a pet tarantula or have a pet scorpion? Neither for me, but if I had to choose, maybe a tarantula. What about you? Those short channels are doing two things that I think they should reconsider. For one, they are creating a single style of video which is working for them, but YouTube may decide one day and tag their channel as producing repetitive content. This has nothing to do with using AI or not, but their videos appear to me as mass production since they are simply using the same templates over and over again. You may argue that I just showed you how to do that in this video, but no. This is the third tutorial of this video series, and I've said clearly on my first video on this topic not to create one style of videos only. I even gave different series you can create in that tutorial, and this Would You Rather series was also part of them. Secondly, they are not paying attention to long videos. While shorts can easily go viral, everyone knows that the real money and opportunities are in the long videos, so they should do more series and start making a lot of long videos. Even if the views are relatively lower, it may be more profitable in the long run. For watching till the end, you can get the template for the conversations on ChatGPT to reuse the prompts for your long and short videos. I'll also share the Canva template for the short and long video which you can import and reuse for your projects. You simply need to swap the data at the bulk creation menu. If you also want to watch the full videos, I'll give you their links to see how they look. Just check the description for this. Also, don't forget to get your 30-day trial of vidIQ Boost Plan by clicking the first link in the description below. If you haven't seen the first part of this tutorial, you can click on this video to watch it. And if you want to see the other videos in this series, click on the playlist on the right. If you learn one or two things from this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.